In this video I'll be showing you a few ways to fix an iPad that won't recognize a SIM card. Here I've got an iPad Mini 4 Wi-Fi and cellular model that doesn't recognize when a SIM card is inserted. So let's see how we can fix it. First, try resetting the network settings. Open the settings app, then click on transfer or reset iPad at the bottom on the right. Then tap reset and select reset network settings in the pop-up menu. Now you can type your passcode, click on reset and the iPad will reboot. This will take a minute or two and once it's rebooted you can unlock your iPad to see if it's worked. In my case it still says no SIM, so let's try something else. Take a paper clip or a SIM ejection tool and insert it into the hole next to the SIM slot to eject the tray. Take out the SIM card and using a Q-tip dampened in isopropyl alcohol, give the contacts on the back a good wipe. This should clean off any oxidization that may be preventing the SIM card from making good contact with the pins inside the iPad. Once you've cleaned it, you can put the SIM card back into the tray and insert it into the iPad to test if it's worked. Sadly, this still hasn't worked for me, so let's try something else. Take a piece of plain white paper and a pair of scissors and cut a strip of paper that's approximately the same width as the SIM slot on your iPad. Now take the strip of paper and fold it over until it's about the same thickness as the SIM tray. Dampen the end of the paper with some isopropyl alcohol. Remove the SIM card from the iPad again and insert the folded paper into the SIM slot. Now move the paper about from left to right and back and forth. What we're trying to do here is clean off any oxidization from the pins inside the SIM slot. After a minute or two of cleaning, you can replace the SIM card into the iPad. Now this time, as soon as I insert the SIM card, I get the SIM pin request and after typing the pin, I can see that mobile data is available and the mobile operator name appears in the top left of the screen. I hope you found this video useful, let me know down below if this worked for you too. That's it for now, thanks for watching.